Thank you, Tim. Former Rhode Island First Lady Sue Kachiri has been laid to rest today. Her family, friends, and many others gathered to say goodbye. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen tells us about how Mrs. Kachiri is being remembered. Steve? Well, Mike, through tears, Suzanne Kachiri's son told stories about his mother today, saying that she was the queen of the long goodbye and said his parents had one of the most beautiful marriages the world has ever known. The weather matched the mood Tuesday morning outside Our Lady of Mercy Church in East Greenwich. Family and friends saying goodbye to former Rhode Island First Lady Sue Kachiri. She was 76. The service was touching. It was, it was a very... It was a wonderful tribute to a wonderful woman. Rhode Island Supreme Court Justice Frank Flaherty was appointed to the court when Sue's husband, Don Kachiri, was governor. It speaks to the whole family. They're a nice family. They've touched a lot of lives in not just you know, during the eight years that he was governor. 53 years and five months ago, Don and Sue walked out of these doors just married. Today, Don, their children and grandchildren walked in to celebrate her. The family asked us not to bring our cameras inside. Sue Kachiri's son spoke, saying how important music was to their family and said the last song his mother ever sang was appropriately Amazing Grace. Former Governor Lincoln Chafee also in attendance. She really came through, as everyone knows, in the station fire and that tragedy. Uh, Sue and the governor uh, represented Rhode Island so well, and uh, I think that's one of her great legacies as First Lady. The homily today was delivered by the Vicar General in Jamaica. He was an old friend of Sue Kachiri's when she taught on the island. He said her virtues in life were her empathy and no-nonsense focused personality. He said many congregations in Jamaica are also praying tonight. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.